So most of the games that I actually play today are played with my five-year-old son. So I play a lot of Wii games, and I can look at that, and sometimes I'll, I'll wince a little when I think, oh, they sh this fade should have been done a little differently, or they should have accepted an input at this point, and these sort of editorial critical level of things on there. But for the most part, if I'm playing Mario or Zelda on there, I can just accept the game for what it is. I do have a little bit of a harder time with the games that are very realistic and you start having lots of people in them uh, because my eye does tend to be drawn to little critical things about, well, how are their shadows being done? How do they handle this case of, oh, clearly they had this guy go this way so this bad thing wouldn't happen. And I just can't swallow the whole thing uh, completely and that detracts from my ability to, to enjoy a lot of the elements there. Uh, so generally the modern games, I, I watch other people play for a little bit. I don't devote lots and lots of time to it because I don't have all that much time. And the, the, the video game time that I do spend with my son has been just, it has reignited in me a lot of the wonder of video games. You know, after 20 years, you might get a little bit ground down about, uh, you know, how great is all of this stuff. But seeing it again through fresh, younger eyes on here, this ability to make these worlds that we all go out and play in, it is pretty magical.